my name is Kristen and welcome to my cathedral garden if you're new here I am a homeschooling mama to four kids and this year I have a fifth grader a third grader a first grader and a four-year-old and today we are talking all about how we do tea time in our home so stick around I am so excited because today I am the one hosting this collaboration I am so excited and so ready to see how all these other mamas do tea time in their home. I, my hope is that you come away feeling whatever you need from this collaboration. If you need more ideas, I hope you find them. If you need permission to make it easy, I hope you hear that here. If you need um, some ways to make it beautiful, I hope you see those table settings here today. Whatever it is you need, I am hopeful that this playlist will give you more tools and more resources and, or maybe even just permission to make tea time whatever it is that you need it to be to work in your home. To be honest, tea time is something that used to really overwhelm me. I saw these beautiful things and thought it had to look a certain way or it had to be at a certain time every week or every month. or all these rules that someone made up and I had to follow, but I didn't know what they were. Guys, I wasted a couple years only doing tea time sparingly because I thought it had to look a certain way. And when it didn't, or when it was too hard for me to pull off, I got upset. So today I am really excited because I'm gonna show you how we do tea time. And I'm gonna show you that in two different ways. I'm gonna show you what our normal everyday run-of-the-mill tea time looks like and by the way by every day I mean just normal tea time we definitely don't do this every day and then I'm also gonna show you what our tea time looks like when it's a little bit bigger or fancier like when we're celebrating a holiday or changing of the seasons or things like that so I hope that you come away from this um, maybe with a few ideas, but at the very least, just feeling the permission to take the easy road if that's what you need. So without further ado, here's how we do tea time in our own home. Okay, so this is our usual setup. This is an electric tea kettle, and I would say it's really hard to do tea time without one of these. We have a teapot that we used and it was fine, but I definitely do tea time a lot more when I have this, this is a beautiful line by Drew Barrymore. Super easy. It's all touch screen. You just set it and go from there and it'll heat up the water. And so while the water's heating up, we usually are deciding what um, tea, tea we want. want. And we have lots of choices to choose from. Hold on, baby. So let's see here. Who would like vanilla chai? That's usually Reed's favorite, but I think he might want something different. Anybody for vanilla chai today? Me, no? Okay. There's orange spice, peppermint, honey vanilla chamomile, or cinnamon apple spice. Cinnamon apple spice. Okay. Honey chamomile. And there's peppermint too. Uh-huh. And then these are our fall cups. I actually just thrifted these last year and gave them to the kids on the first day of autumn. It's just something fun, little easy way to celebrate. Um, but I'm also seeing cute fall cups like at the dollar store. So totally something easy to find. All right, I'm gonna load these up and we'll get going. Once again, it is nothing fancy going on over here. I did not grow up drinking hot tea at all. So I don't even know if I'm really making it correctly but it is the thought that counts and the effort given for the memories that are made that we are after here. This is what a normal tea time for us looks like. Just a regular everyday tea time. Um, I don't really have a set rhyme or reason to how we do this particular setup and um, I try to do it a few times two to three times a month just whenever um, I either buy the supplies or feel like it or think our day needs a turnaround or maybe a reward and fall. Mm -hmm, anything like that so 
that is what this setup looks like. Normal, every day, no fluff tea time. Um, we have yet to bake something for our tea times this year. It is something that I want to do. We, we just made popcorn. We have made popcorn, that's true. And it's just something that I, um, it's on my radar, just hasn't happened. But one thing that we do like to do, I'm gonna borrow this. Thank you, Karis. Hold on, baby. Is we go to Walmart. They have these little personal pies. This one was a blueberry one that wasn't anyone's favorite. But um, every kid. Not my favorite. It is. Okay, shh, for just a second. Every kid has their own favorite that they get to pick out, and they are 50 cents each. So for $2, I can have a great tea time. Everyone's happy. It's totally a treat and it's a win-win. So I really wanted to showcase for you in this video what our normal is because it doesn't have to be fancy. I sure hope not because if it does, then I'm up a creek. I can't pull off fancy every day, but I can pull off this. Normally for our everyday kind of tea time, we will just continue on with whatever read aloud we are doing currently. This one happens to be uh, the third book in the series of The Secret of the Hidden Scrolls by M.J. Thomas, which these are similar to Magic Treehouse books, but with Bible stories, my kids all love them, which is great because they hit all ages just right. I also wanted to give you guys a glimpse into what we do around either big holidays or like today, the season changing finally here in Texas, is we will also add in just a little bit more to make tea time just a little bit more special. So maybe that extra treats back there, once again, store bought. I'm telling you guys, it's the way to go to make it easy. Um, we also have some cider that we put in on ice because it's still 80 something degrees here in Texas, but at least it's not 95 and so we're calling it a win and we're calling it fall. Um, and it's also a time where we can try new things such as the cider for these guys or um, have some favorite things, some things we really love at Christmas. We might do Christmas cookies or we really like to make the uh, chocolate pretzels, stuff like that. So I wanted to give you a glimpse into the different ways that we can and have done tea time before. I told you guys in my fall book haul that this one is the one that really kicks it mm -hmm. off for Autumn for us, this silly little $2 book, but you just saw it and heard it here. Um, we love it and this says fall to us. So what better way to start off our tea time than that? All right, Autumn's first leaf. Those little faces were so precious when I saw their excitement over this silly book, but you guys, that's what it's all about. It is making those traditions and those anchors that will be what their childhood memories are made of. And that's why I do this tea time is to give them those things that say, this is what makes up our family. And this is something that is special to us. Thank you guys so much for joining in on our tea time video. I love showing you how our kids and our family does a tea time nothing crazy nothing spectacular but the memories are still there and that is what counts and i'm just so thankful that that is now the place i am in in our homeschooling it took a while but we're there and that is a good place to be so rest assured mama you are doing such a good job and i am rooting for if you. you guys are new here from another channel i am so thankful that you guys are here if you like what you see would you consider subscribing to my channel it totally helps me out and i am just so thankful for each and every one of you that are here um you can also find me in different ways you can talk to me in the comments here 
You can find me over on Instagram. My handle is the same. You can email me. I just really enjoy getting to know this group of moms. Um, it's such a special community, Homeschool Mamas, and being a part of it is something I don't take lightly. So thank you guys for those of you who are here and who engage. It means so much. Be sure to hit the like button if you like this video. It just lets me know what kind of content you um, are wanting to see from me. And if you really don't want to ever miss a video that I put out, be sure to hit the notification bell. It'll alert you anytime I post anything new. All right, you guys, until next time. Bye.